Okay guys, so today I just wanted to make the last of the three videos explaining the settings on your Shopify dropshipping store. So the first video I talked about general taxes and account. Uh, yesterday's video I talked about payment providers, notifications, and billing. And in this video I want to talk about checkout, files, shipping, and sales channels real quickly. So we're just here on this Shopify store. California Catch is what I called it. Now this store, like I said, is not actually up and running. It is live, but I'm not promoting it. I'm not running any Facebook ads to try and drive traffic and convert into sales on the site yet. So I'm just kind of going through making videos, showing you guys what I'm learning and sharing with you guys things you can do to set up your store. So here on checkout, this is going to be when your customer goes to check out and purchase a product, this is going to be what it's going to look like. Um, so here, this is the style. You can go here and customize checkout and kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like when your customer goes to make a purchase here once it loads. So it'll give them an option. They can either just run their credit card information, which is what most people are going to do. So they'll put in all their info right here. Or they can use PayPal or Amazon Pay. Now, this is just a, a sample here of what it's going to look like, one of the products on the store right now that we're running. Um, if you guys don't like how this looks, you can go to theme settings and you click on different colors and you can switch up some of the things if you go down through here, through typography, social media, favicon, checkout. So you can change the, the style around there if you guys want to mess with that. Um, but going back to this, so that's how you can customize the checkout. Now here for customer accounts, we're going to make the accounts optional. So this just means that people are able to check out as either a guest or they can create an account on your website. Some people just get turned off by the idea that they have to create an account on your website. So just put it as optional. Um, the second is customer contacts. This is, they can either check out with their email address or with the phone number. I personally choose this. Customers can check out only using their email. That's a good way for you to capture their email and then retarget them in the future. So I leave it at that. Um, I just leave this checked. <clears throat> um, their name, so when they're going to check out, this means that you only require their last name. I require first name and last name. Sometimes you can do just last name, sometimes you can do first name, it's not a big deal. Sometimes I'll do first name, just so when you do retarget them, you can include their first name, it's a little more personal. Company name, I just leave hidden. Uh, these I just leave, this one I leave it optional, shipping address, phone number. Um, I put optional as well, it doesn't really matter, that's not a big deal. Um, these I leave corrected or uh, checked, excuse me. Now down here it says ask for permission to send promotional emails to customer from your store. I actually will disable and hide this field. That pretty much means that once you capture their email, you can then retarget them and send them other um, promotions, other discounts, different sales that are going on in the future so that you can hopefully retarget them and convert future sales. Um, after an order has been paid, I select do not automatically fulfill any of the orders line items. You probably don't want to automatically fulfill just to avoid mistakes. Um, I do keep this corrected or checked here. Um, checkout language, I have an English. Now down here, when you guys first go on it, so I've already had this saved because I made it a few videos ago for this website. So refund policy, you guys will have this when you're first starting, it'll be completely blank. So you'll just click here on generate sample refund policy. You'll just click on that and it'll generate this same exact sample. The only thing I did was change the days right here. So when you generate, it's gonna say 30 days. Now I switched it for mine, just to make my refund policy only be 14 days. So however long you guys wanna have it, you can go on manually and just type that in and you can go through and just make sure that that's all there. But this is just generated on Shopify. I did the same thing for privacy policy. This is all blank. This isn't something I typed up. It's not something complicated. All you'll do is you'll just click right here on generate sample privacy policy. And I don't have to change anything there. I did the same thing with terms of service. I just click on generate sample terms of service. And this is what Shopify will automatically just fill into this section right here. And then I'll hit save. So I'll automatically save that. Now we're going to go back to settings and talk about files. So files are just the files you're gonna upload onto your website. So I just have a few different pictures. Um, two of these pictures I actually got off of Shopify. And this one I think I got off Google, um, off of uh, Adobe, no, off of Freestock um, website. 
So make sure when you guys, if you're going to use pictures and other files, such as videos, that you don't infringe on the copyright of whoever took the picture because you could end up being sued later on. So make sure you get it off Adobe Stock website or off Shopify or off some free stock photo website so that later in the future when you have your store running, you don't end up getting some lawsuit or someone sending you an email saying that the picture is theirs and they have the rights and you're infringing on their copyright. Um, so these are just the pictures I have right here. If you guys want to add any, you can just upload a file right here and choose whatever you want to upload. Um, so going back to the, the next one is shipping. So in this case, we're going to be drop shipping. So I set my shipping rate to free so the customer isn't paying for any shipping because my products don't weigh that much. They weigh like less than a pound. So shipping's not really going to be that much. Um, and so later on in future videos, I'll show you guys how to set up an e-packet e um, with AliExpress so that they will use a company to ship it directly from the manufacturer in China to the customer's address. And this is the address um, for the business right now that I have set up. So this is what's going to appear when the, the customer buys a product from this website. This is the address that's going to appear. So in case someone decides, you know, they want to refund, um, they want to return the product, they'll send it to your house and you'll refund them the money. So then you'll end up staying with, uh, you'll end up keeping the product yourself. Um, so yeah, I set my shipping to free already. And the shipping zone, I just has domestic. Uh, and then I have the rest of the world, USPS. Now this I just selected here. I, you really don't have to worry too much about it because you're going to be drop shipping now. This, if you were doing some other kind of company, such as you already had the products and you're shipping them from your house, then you could have a, a label printer and you could select this one here. Or you could use a normal printer and print off labels just like that. But you really don't have to worry about that if you're drop shipping. Um, I'm just going to go in here just to prevent any problems. I'm just going to set this to zero pounds just so that I don't get charged at all. I'm gonna save that. Um, so, I mean, you guys have other options here if you're gonna be doing anything, but this is mostly for drop shipping, what I'm talking about, and I don't mess with any of this because I do e-packet shipping. As far as I know, I don't have to mess with any of this um, for this website. If you wanna upgrade your plan, that'll just help you to get a little better discount on FedEx or UPS, because um, right now we just have a 29.99 plan. And I'll give you an option to upgrade to the 79 or the $300 plan. Um, and I don't I don't activate Postmates. I don't mess with any of that because I'm drop shipping, like I said. Um, so if we go back to settings, the last one we're going to talk about is sales channels. So right now we're only selling on this online store, um, which is Shopify. And for most cases, that's all you guys need to deal with, really. That's it. Um, it shows you have two products. It's installed. Now, if you want to add a sales channel such as um, Amazon, eBay, um, it really doesn't matter. Facebook is another option um, right here. You guys can add that. I personally don't do anything like that, but if you guys want to, it's pretty simple. You can just click add and set up that way. So it's pretty simple. Um, but that's the video I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm talking about how to set up your settings on the checkout, file, shipping, and sales channels. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.